Hey guys, how's it going? Happy... It's Tuesday. Sorry. I just got beside myself because I'm getting ready to shoot this and I'm like, wow, this is like two days in a row that I am shooting a video, uploading it, making it live the day of. This is like a big deal. Because you guys, you've seen it. I mean, I've gotten back into shooting videos, which I had stopped for a long time. And it just, it, it took some finagling of my schedule um, to get back into. And I think I was over overthinking it, as I do with so many things. Um, kind of trying to decide, you know, do I need to shoot a bunch of videos all at once? Is it taking too much time? But as with many things in my life, I am taking a step back and realizing that when I get rid of multitasking, which I wrote about this on my blog uh, just the other day, um, when I lose multitasking and I sit down and I focus and I say, you know, I'm doing one thing at a time instead of frazzling myself and trying to do just stupid, a bunch of stuff all at once, um, you get more done and you can fit in the things in your day that you thought you couldn't fit in. So um, today what I thought I would do is, um, there's a lot of changes coming up, a lot of exciting stuff coming up as I referenced in my last video where I was just like so excited. Also Mr. Flow, there you go, Mr. Flow. Um, I just launched, if you will, um, so you'll see this on my blog today, kellyalexa.com, you'll also see it. I published it uh, on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, I actually have to do that next. Um, but I'm going to be starting um, kind of just a, a challenge for myself, but you guys are welcome to join with me, do my challenge, um, or make up your own. But uh, one of our clients at Fitfluential, TomTom, Tom, which makes these amazing um, heart rate monitors with the GPS. You might have seen I reviewed this uh, six to nine months ago when I was regularly running. Remember, I've, I had stopped running again for a while. Um, and then I'm back at it. Did a lot of running down in Florida, which always gets me um, back in the mood. But what's funny is my running style is changing a lot. Um, when I was running before, I was starting to get the fever a little bit into wanting to do the half marathon thing and train and go longer and longer and longer. And now what I'm finding is I'm a little bit more interested in improving my speed and in incorporating sprints. We did some of that down in Florida. Aubrey got me fired up about that. Um, and just, you know, I just like to run. I, I don't really necessarily want to, hold on, um, you know, get into the races and competing and, and, and anything structured. I do it just because I enjoy it. And for me, it's um, the speed and intensity, upping that. In, uh, interests me more than anything else. So, um, you guys have been asking, and I wanted to use this uh, video specifically to address, um, you know, you kind of, everybody's been asking me for an update on my insulin resistance diet, how that's going. Um, I think I mentioned in my last vlog yesterday that I did lose five pounds when I was on vacation, so I lost two pounds before I went, um, five pounds while I was down there, so since the flip out, <laughs> remember when I told you guys that I'd been on the um, bioidentical treatment for a while and then my weight on the scale was going up and I was just refusing. That's being a little generous with myself. I wasn't refusing up front. I was freaking out up front, okay? But then I stayed the course and I knew that it was more about the fact that I was putting on muscle and I just hadn't lost the fat, blah, blah, blah. Um, but since that one moment when my weight on the scale was higher than it has been in several years, I mean, honestly, I don't remember. So in totality, there's been nine pounds lost since that. So um, very, very encouraged. And I'll just tell you, before I tell you what I'm doing with my workouts and now what I'm eating, generally speaking, um, I'm being very casual about it. Not, I'm not as much on a, um, strict meal plan like I was in the past and it's just working for me. Um, but anyway, I, I just have to tell you guys, like every day um, I feel better, um, meaning I feel like I don't have the bloating that I used to have all the time. 
Um, don't have the stu I mean, just bloating and stomach aches was, was something that was very common to me before. Um, so I don't have that. Um, I'm enjoying the food I'm eating. Um, I, I don't necessarily, what's, what is funny is this. When I get hungry, I get really hungry now. And I think that's just because um, the food that I'm eating fills me up and then I'm very satisfied. And then it's just like, when I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm really hungry. I, it's just, it, and I don't know if that's due to the intensity of my workouts and the combination of the way I'm eating, who knows, but I just, it's kind of funny. I, I've never noticed that before where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to eat. I really need to eat. Um, just mentally as well, mentally or emotionally, I don't know how you want to qualify that. I just, I, I feel very comfortable with what I'm doing. I don't feel, um, like I'm questioning what I'm eating. I'm, I'm in a groove with, with this diet plan, if you will. Um, do I have temptations and cravings? Yes, but it just, because I feel so much better, because I see changes in my body literally every single day, I, I just can't describe to you guys what it's like for me to be able to just put on shorts and have them be more loose the next week than they were the week before. It has been so long since I had made any progress. And that was very frustrating to say the least. So for me to, even when I was in Florida, you know, I put on this pair of black shorts and three days later, you know, I'm sitting down, I'm like, these are looser. And for me to be able to see my waist coming into play again, um, for me to be able to stand in front of the mirror in my bikini and not be like, oh, I hope nobody on the beach looks at me. You know, I can see that my body's changing. I can see that the area around my core that was, you know, basically a poster child for insulin resistance, that fat is changing. It's coming off. Um, my legs are getting leaner. I just, I feel and I look different every day. So I'm very encouraged. And all of that said, that makes it a lot easier for me to continue. So, oh, I love this song. Um, let me wrap up here with um, telling you guys really what I'm eating typically. And again, I'm not telling you that this is what you should eat. This is based on the research that I've done. And um, again, make sure you, number one, subscribe here on YouTube, but go to my blog, kellyalexa.com. If this is something that you feel is applicable for you, that you potentially have hormonal imbalance, you're gonna wanna subscribe over there to my blog because I am per everybody's request, but also to save me, because I can't write everybody back and, and say, here's what you should do, read this book, look this up. I'm gonna consolidate everything that I have learned and pull together and kind of pull it together into an ebook. Um, and I'm actually doing quite a lot of those, so so tune in for that. But you'll definitely want to subscribe and get on my waiting list for that. Um, which I'm very excited about because so many of you are taking your health, becoming your own health advocate and taking your health into your own hands like I am and it's a game changer. Um, so typically what I'm eating now, again, based on my research, I'm not saying this is what you should eat. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily right, but it's working for me. Um, and it's not a ton of Diversity, I probably should have a little bit more diversity, but I just go with, you know, what am I in the mood to eat right now? Um, next week might be different than this week. Um, right now, um, you know, I'm not doing any of the protein shakes that I was doing. Um, I'm not doing, I mean, the only thing that I do, I, I have become addicted um, to my Shakeology. Now this is something Shakeology I used years ago. Now, of course, um, that I'm back and I'm a Beachbody coach, and, and really, it's so timely. It's so timely because let me say this to you guys. And I'm gonna also do another post on this because with all the supplements I'm taking, the vitamins, and, and then I'd done additional research and asked my doctor, you know, here's all the list of everything else that it says in all these books I should be taking. Glutamine, you know, um, what berries are good for you, all, you know, what kind of natural, um, vitamins or supplements or herbs or whatever are very good for hormonal balance, for sleep, um, all of this stuff. And it's so odd timing that I'm getting back into Beachbody all because of seeing that Sean T thing for size, which I just got. I'm so excited to dive into that. But you know, now I always love these, but I tended to not use the Shakeology shakes because 
back in that day, I was only focused on things that had 25 grams of protein and they need to have low carbs. But now it's more important, the nutrients and what I'm putting into my body. And then I'm not putting anything, you know, like right now, the protein shakes with all of the other stuff in it, I can't do it. That's not what's right for me. I, I miss it, don't get me wrong. I miss my pre-workouts, I miss all that stuff. But right now, this is clearly what's working for me. But incidentally, um, in addition to the fact that, and I'm totally into, um, Whitney got me into the um, individual serving size. I never used to do that, I used to always get the big tub. But let me just give you an example of the stuff that's in these shakes. Um, hopefully I can see this because of my issues here. So obviously you've got your whey protein, pea protein, flax, chia, quinoa, amaranth, I hope I'm saying these right, cacao, maca, pea fiber, yacon, I don't know what the heck that is, but obviously you can look this up on my um, Shakeology site, spirulina, which I have a huge um, thing from Nutrex Hawaii in my thing, but now it's in here. Um, chicory root fiber. Um, I hope I'm not losing my thing. Um, I don't know what this is. Kamu Kamu, which is a fruit. Pomegranate. S Saka Inchi. I don't know what that is. Um, Bil Bilberry. Um, blueberry, which we know is awesome for antioxidants. Goji berry. Um, spinach, MSM, don't know what that is, ashwagandha, um, cordyceps, um, I know I'm, I'm skipping down here, reishi, I believe those, yeah, that's a kind of mushroom if I'm correct, um, luau, <laughs> I can't say some of these Asian words, um, Himalayan salt, oh, prebiotic, probiotic, grapeseed, rose hips, um, Holy basil, ginkgo, and uh, moringa, as well as, of course, vitamin A, C, D, E, K1, B1, B2, B3, B6, folic acid, B12, biotin, calcium, iron, phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, copper, manganese, chromium, and moly something else or other. So pretty much just about everything you could possibly imagine especially with um, digestive enzymes, your probiotics and your prebiotics. That is, is key and it's funny because I think I told you guys this before. Every single trainer I know, if I ask them and I say, what's the one thing, if I could only take one supplement, they'll say probiotics or digestive enzymes. Whitney, every single time I'm with her and we go to eat, she hands me digestive enzymes. Um, everything you read, if you, I mean, if you, if you don't want to listen to me, which I don't blame you, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually feel very good about the research I've done and, and, and sharing this stuff with you guys. Um, it's all about gut health, you guys, and your gut determines every, I mean, seriously, you guys, if you've been watching me for all of these years, you know the stuff that I used to eat and I used to always joke and say chemicals are fun and whatever. And again, I'm not gonna lie, I miss having Diet Pepsi every day. I miss having Diet Mountain Dew. Um, I'm not gonna say, oh, I couldn't have the taste of it, whatever. Do I wish I could have a piece of pizza right now? Yes, will I inevitably? Yeah, but fixing my insulin and getting it to the point where it's regularly fixed is, is key. You guys, I, what did I say to you in some of my old videos? I said, I just wanna get to the place where I can Okay, this is from a physical standpoint. Just go in my closet, put on a pair of shorts and not think about it. That's where I am right now. I actually was able to, like I told you, my clothes get looser every day, I feel good. But as well, I'm not, I don't have the headaches. Um, you don't have the bloating, the, the just kind of feeling gassy and all of that stuff. I just feel better. I'm not constantly going, what did I eat? Um, I need to wrap it up here. I'm at 15 minutes. So for shakes, I mean, I have at least one Shakeology a day. If I make the green berry, these are my two favorite flavors. I really don't, I haven't tried any other stuff. I stick with what I like. If I make green berry, I put almond milk in, crushed ice, water, and then sometimes um, I put in the, um, that clear sparkling soda as well, like a blackberry or a peach. Um, then I'll put in half a banana, some uh, frozen fruit, low glycemic fruit, like uh, mango or pineapple, some wild frozen blueberries. That's how I make the greenberry one, and it'll make a huge shake that I can kind of chug on all day. 
Um, when I do chocolate, I do half a banana. Sometimes I put in some natural peanut butter. Um, sometimes I'll put in a little almond extract and that makes it awesome. Um, I have a lot of trail mix. When I say a lot, um, I'm very aware of having a serving size. Um, you know, that's something that you can't just nosh on all day. Um, I'm also completely, this is what I use, plantain chips from Trader Joe's, um, to replace that feeling of, I need something carby, I need something crunchy, I need something I can have chips and salsa with, but plantains are relatively low glycemic and they're acceptable for me. And I'm telling you, I have these every day. Um, I incidentally also got this. You are, um, legumes or beans are acceptable. Um, so I don't, I don't look for fat-free stuff at all. Um, this just happens to be fat-free um, at Trader Joe's. I have a lot of salsa. Um, if I'm gonna have it, and then I'll have like salads or maybe sushi, just sashimi right now. I miss having the occasional roll that'll come. Um, I'll have seaweed salad. Um, when I was down in Florida, uh, I had this great um, chicken fajita dish with no tortillas every single day at the beach. It was awesome. Um, so, I mean, there you go. Fruits, vegetables, um, protein. Um, not a lot of salads right now, but I'll probably get back into that. But I just kind of wing it, and I'm not having the six meals a day by any means. I'm probably having closer to three with a snack in, in there. Um, I eat when I'm hungry, um, and it works for me. I'm chugging a ton of water, and I gotta tell you guys, it's, it's become very, very easy for me. I'm gonna hold off, because I'm at 16 minutes, to give you guys my workout changes and updates next time.